What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be talking to you about WordPress conditional tags and what to do with them and how you can use them. Um, on my left hand side I've just got my WordPress site open, um, it's just got my basic theme running and on my right I've got my Coda 2 application with, and I'm currently in my functions file of my theme. I've created an ad action called WP head with header stuff. Uh, that's the function that we want to run. The function here is header stuff, and this is what I want to run in my header. The same again for footer, so add action WP footer, footer stuff, and my function for footer stuff is here. So I'm just going to run through each one of these tags and show you uh, what you can do and what, um, what they're used for. The first one is if is the front page and is the home page. So it's, it's quite self-explanatory. If it's the front page or the home page, then run this. So I've currently got some style script here, just changing my body color to a yellow. Um, we can obviously decide, we can obviously have them just if uh, on the front page, or we can have it just on the home page, and you can do different colors and whatnot. Um, I've, you can also uh, put custom scripts into uh, specific pages. Like, I've just got um, some scripts here, just saying conditional script. You have to come out of PHP when you uh, just after your first curly brace and then go back into PHP on your just before your end curly brace. And then you can run your script or whatever custom HTML you have going or whatever you want to put. So just to prove that works, this is a sample page. Um, and as you can see, I've got the word conditional script uh, running, which says it works so on obviously if I go to a different page it doesn't show and it won't show anywhere else because it's not the correct page and the next one down is just is single post and again I've just got some different colors so I'm just gonna just show off it's a green so that is a single green oh no it's not it's a red if you go into the post it's now a red so you've got a nice background red the next one down obviously this is the footer text so uh, or the or whatever you want to add to your footer again you can put in a script exactly the same so we just we can just uh, copy this and just paste it there instead let's remove that second curly brace to make sure nothing goes wrong and we'll just change this to footer conditional footer script same page and we can just go over there and it says conditional footer script as well so that shows you how to run uh, scripts on the footer and obviously on specific pages um, I will put uh, a link to this code and also the conditional uh, documentation from WordPress themselves, which is actually very useful, obviously. Um, so check that out as well. Um, and let me know in the comments if you if you need any help or whatnot, because I'll be happy to help you. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my again, my apologies for not um, posting a video over the weekend. I was away, so and I didn't really have anything planned. So sorry about that. But keep a lookout for this uh, video coming this weekend, obviously, and there'll be one coming on the the following Wednesday as well. So uh, let me know in the comments if you like this video, guys. If you didn't, let me know in the comments as well, so I we can improve and make a better video. Um, and that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.